told me I should know better Still in the tea with Trevor Bound the sofa with the old leather What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Quickly. I'm back at you again with another one. Another, you know I'll be here, man. You see lights, see camera, so you know damn well it's action, people. Today, we got an artist that's usually not on the platform. He wasn't going to be on this platform without, you know, someone really pleading his case. And, you know, the subscribers pleading his case. I don't, I don't say fans. You know, we got we live for our middle over here. My family. But, um, yeah, pleading pleading his case and everything. Let me know. I should give his music a chance and give this song a chance because they say he was talking to his, his, his you know what I mean? He was going crazy on it, and I was like, I, you know what? Why not? Because if I wasn't going to do a reaction to this, I'm not going to listen to the song nine times out of ten because I just don't listen to his music anymore. I just, I feel like this nigga done came back from death a hundred times on this channel. I done tried to kill the nigga on this channel, and they just, keep, they just keep bringing him back, bringing him back, bringing him back. But, you know, I heard it's a good song. I heard you talking crazy. I heard I might like this one, you know, because the previous songs I heard from him, I, I, I haven't been impressed. And that's not due to my pettiness. It's due to the fact that I just really haven't been impressed with his music. Um, but yeah, this is a platform for, you know, the artists out of the BX. Actually, the artists out of New York. But I'm just saying right now, we really focused on growing the Bronx due to the fact that they have a emerging you know drill sound and emerging drill scene out there so we gotta you know do whatever we could do to help you know make as many stars from the city you know as possible i just keep the music business going out here and you know keep a lot of you know teenagers and a lot of you know people out out the streets you know when they possibly possibly giving them a chance to you know take care of their families and, and, and level up that's what we do this for so yeah, we gonna check his music out and see how it sounds. Today we got shot EK with one in the head. And without further ado, let's get into the video. Like, come on now, I, I, I come on now. <laughs> it's obvious that these niggas to be friends and all that, so they definitely be going to see each other and all that. Y'all might as well just, I don't know, I'm going to have to have a talk with them outside of this, this whole, comp this whole re reaction thing. I don't even want to do all that on, on camera. <laughs> Relax. 
maybe one of the faces or used to be one of the faces because right now this song might 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 be the one to, to, to you know get me excited about his music again because so far i'm actually liking it I, you are you're not the face of the bronx right now let's try it <clears throat> it is k flock b love and dougie b them three they are the face of the bronx you were definitely in the top five on to, oh yeah d thing we gotta put d thing in there too but you definitely were in that in that position. You know, you was definitely in that top three position until you just kept saying the same thing in your songs. All your songs just sound the same. It was just, a, you know, so I hope this is the one, you know, to motivate you to, to keep growing as an artist because I actually like this one so far. You see you talking up. You know what I mean? Yeah. Nah, let me hear what you're saying. Though. You say you're the face of the bronze. I can't really tell them on how to feel, though. I like the confidence. But when I was like 30, now I ain't have no money. All I do is offer the slave size. God, God, KK, too mixy, too hoppy, they know what the face of the poor. Too mixy, too hoppy, they know what the face of the poor. And my auntie gon' pay me respect, and they know I'm both bones and tight. And I let them stuff south of my set, and I throw up the whole only king I've had. Every fuck with them niggas, you dead. When I hold, I keep running that head. They try to diss me and say I'm not gang, but these niggas are fake. Like, I'm put the pussy niggas on my bike, put the pussy niggas on my tie. Walkin' to my club, I always keep a strap. Walkin' to my club, I always keep a strap. At the years, I feel like I fell off. From Shadow, like I feel like this one isn't. I'm. We we really do need Shot to you know get get better with the lyrics and stuff, and especially with his projection, like his voice projection, because sometimes you you know it's hard to understand what he's saying. But this one, it was actually a little bit more clear to understand what he's saying, and he actually said more. <clears throat> he actually said more in this song, you know, letting you into how he was feeling about the whole situation. You know, letting you know that he still feels like he has a place in the BX. Because, you know, a lot of people have been counting him out lately, including myself. And he feels like, like, nigga, <laughs> ah, y'all about to see. I'm about to show y'all something. And I like that confidence in the person to feel like, you know, they still, you know, they they got more to do. And I have to admit, I enjoyed his verse, especially, the, you know, the part where he was talking about, we, we, we'd be on the same blast. Like, if it's really like that, you know, we could really make that happen. Like that's some that's that's a lot of talk right there, you know. Cause if you're in tune, you know that these dudes probably do see each other all the time, but these dudes probably do be around each other, and you know they all still have the same group of friends. So why is it even so difficult to work that situation now where these niggas is going towards dissing each other in songs and all that stuff? And that's all I'm gonna say on that on that topic. But that was a good line right there. You know, <laughs> he let it be known like like that's it, man. But I enjoyed the hook. I enjoyed the visuals. Good hook, you know, easy to remember, easy to learn. And that's all I ask for, especially, you know, with you going as an artist. I feel like you did say more on this song, you know, more that I've been expecting from you to, to you know, say. Especially with me expecting more from you because I want to hear you switch it up. I want to hear you be more lyrical, not even just lyrical, but to, to not say the same thing that you've done said before or for your songs to sound the same as the other ones. That's all I ask. It's your boy Crooklyn, man. Like, subscribe, share, request. Press that bell for your post notifications. And press subscribe button, people. I'm out.